everybody! This week I'm going to show you how to design your own t-shirt with puffy paint and material. You're going to love this craft. I always wanted an Easy Me World t-shirt and I decided that it was about time that I designed my own. I think a homemade t-shirt would make a great gift for Christmas and for birthdays too. They're fun to make and they add that personal touch to each gift. You can make your own designs to say whatever you want your t-shirt to say. You could do a quote t-shirt, a support the cause t-shirt, a holiday t-shirt, or you could do a one-of-a-kind team spirit t-shirt. The ideas are endless. Just use your imagination to come up with your own ideas. Let's get started. I will leave a list of the things you will need down below. Cut a piece of cardboard to the size that will stretch your t-shirt a little bit. It will be a barrier between the front and back sides of the shirt so that the glue and paint won't stick the shirt sides together. I also cut cardboard shoulders at the top to help the shirt lay flat. Now slide the t-shirt over top of the cardboard. I made my letter decals out of material, and I even made a butterfly. Use scrap material to make letters or extra decorative features. The material gives it a homemade look to make it unique and colorful. Use a piece of cardstock or paper to draw out the letter or design that you want to put on your t-shirt. By making your own decals, you could save a lot of money. Cut each of the letters out with a pair of scissors. Flip your letter over and lay it on the back side of your material like this. It will look like a backwards letter, but it looks right on the front side. Trace it with a pen. Use your material scissors to cut along the pen line. The letter turned out perfectly. Once you get your decals cut out, arrange them on your t-shirt where you think they will look best. This is how I did mine. I'm going to have a pencil here. The C is for create. A for and, S for share, and then I have a butterfly, and then I'm going to write at Easy Me World, and then down here I have YouTube. And then from the pencil, I was thinking about having a dotted line and a swirl up to the butterfly. Use a fabric adhesive to glue your decals into place. I use the lid from my adhesive to mark where I will place the decal after I glue it to make sure I put it in the right place. Lightly apply a small amount to the back of each piece. Then carefully place the decal next to the lid marker. Do all of your pieces like that. I really wasn't sure exactly where my butterfly and my Y and T were going exactly until I got the other parts painted, so I wanted to do those last. I use Tulip Puffy Paint, which is specifically made for fabrics. I picked white puffy paint to paint along the edges of the letters. I used a yellow for around the edge of the pencil. This gives the decals a layered look and makes them pop. Then I painted the rest of the letters for each word in orange puffy paint. After the words were painted, I knew where I wanted to put my butterfly, so I glued it down and painted around that also. The butterfly also got a body and antennas. The pencil got a tip and an eraser with the point on the end to draw with. Here the pencil drew its fun purple butterfly swirl. I love how bright and colorful it is, and I finished it up with writing the rest of the letters. You can use a fan to dry your paint, or you can set it in the sun. After it was dry, to add another special touch, I used acrylic glitter paint to give my butterfly body and swirl some glitter. It dried clear and gave it a sparkle. I love it. Believe it or not, this was actually my first t-shirt design. I am very happy with my shirt, and I learned a lot from making it. And here is what the other side looks like. I love the play button. I know my next t-shirt will be even better and I can't wait to come up with some more design ideas. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my Easy Me World t-shirt design and that it encourages you to give it a try too. If you like this craft idea, share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button. And be sure to stop by our Facebook page where you can share some of your latest crafts. Here's what was shared with us this week.
Mike shared this awesome Halloween craft made out of pallets. It gets me in the spirit of the season, no pun intended. And my son Dylan drew a picture of himself as an anime character, and it looks exactly like him. I am amazed. Thank you so much for sharing and watching. I love you all, and I'll see you next week with another craft. Bye! People are looking at us. <laughs> they keep walking by and like, <laughs> oh, there you go. Sparkly. Magical. Magical corn. <laughs>